Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome once again, dear viewers, to the BMC Monthly Roundup. I am Nal Grimes, and most months the BMC cat drags another co host to me. But this month, the cats dragged me across the snake past the Sheffield to hook up with none other than... Me, Molly Thompson-Smith. Molly Thompson-Smith? Not the Molly Thompson-Smith, a GB climbing team member, the first British woman to win a medal in the Lead World Cup, who just climbed two AC routes in a week in Spain and has just become the winner of the BIF. Nah, a different one. The other one's much better than me. Oh, there she is. So anyway, not so good, Molly. Welcome to the show. So to kick off with some big news about the BMC TV and our YouTube channel, we'll also be hearing about the Sheffield Adventure Festival and some exciting competition news and giving one lucky viewer this amazing montane pack. <gasps> it's amazing! And Molly, not to make you blush, but uh, we'll be hearing about the BIF, the Beastmaker International Fitless Festival, about the BMC Volunteer Award. <sighs> but firstly, Molly, do you know how to kick steps in a steep snow? Lope. Of course I do. Hmm? Are you happy in applying magnetic deviation? Uh, yeah, super confident. Oh, really? And Molly, are you happy to do an ice axe self-arrest? Never happier. Oh, really? How do you know all these things? Well, from the skill section of the BMC TV, of course. Ah, oh, of course, of course, of course. And big news for video fans is that, yes, we've pulled the plug on the old BMC TV platform and we're busy moving everything, everything, over to the very own YouTube channel. So for all the features, all the skills, videos, all the comp reports, head over to the Team BMC YouTube. And whilst the team have been moving the videos over, they found some hidden gems. Take a look at these top five films. And it really is just a, a bunch of rusty old ladders propped up against the crumbling slate. I'm here with the BMC grid measuring team, Steve and Claire. That was great science, Steve. I like it a challenge, that's what it is. I just like it to be tough. I like to earn my bar of chocolate in the evening. For this peak to be called the inaccessible pinnacle, it's like there's a challenge that's been thrown down. All right, so Molly, one of the reasons the BMC cat is down here is because the BMC cat. One of the reasons the BMC Cat Drag Me is here to meet you, of course, but another is to have a look at where we are. Molly, where we are? We are in Unit E. This is the Climbing Works' latest training facility. Unit E, huh? What does the E stand for? Does it stand for everyone welcome? Or does it stand for air? Have you paid to get in? Or does it stand for elites only? Well, it's pretty high level, aimed mainly at comp star bouldering with the emphasis on harder problems and training. Yeah. Do you think I could climb here, Molly? Is it possible? Could I become a leak? Could you teach me, please? Uh, well, no. Maybe later I'll give you a few tips. We'll oh. see what you could do. Thank you, Molly. Did I see you here a few weeks ago as part of BIF 2019? That's right, Niall. <laughs> I thought it was right. <laughs> the Beastmaker International Footless Festival takes everyone's favourite style of climbing and finds out what you're made of. <laughs> and I see what you're made of. Molly, have you got something to tell us about the BIF? Molly, aren't you the, uh, the winner? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I was pretty pleased about that. It's good to know that I can climb without any technique too. <laughs> so what is this all about, this uh, comp style climbing we keep hearing about? It doesn't look very much like uh, Dennis Cromlick. <laughs> no, I think <laughs> the worst part about comp style bouldering is that it never looks hard. And then uh -huh. it's so hard. Oh really? Do you yeah. practice on these style of things? The holds all look pretty rubbish. Yeah, they don't really look like holds, do they? More like futuristic blobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you wrestle these futuristic blobs in an upward direction. Yeah, I do try to, though, mainly I find myself going down to the floor. Do you like it? I do, I do. It's nice to have like a nice, bright, clean facility. But do you like that style of climbing? Ah, uh, well, <laughs> seeing as I won the biff, I don't think so. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, do you learn to become better at it? Yes, I think. One of the nice things about this style of climbing is that it is like a skill to be learned. So it is really satisfying when you do eventually like get the hang of it, but it takes quite a while. Dinos and jumping. Yeah. You've been working your legs. I have. I've been going to the gym. <laughs> Good to hear. Okay, so 
let's see the biff and Molly in action. She's a champion! Congratulations, Molly. And speaking of Molly winning things, the BMC Cat has told me that you were nominated for the 2019 BMC Rahan Siddiqui Award for exceptional voluntary contribution towards promoting equality and diversity in the BMC. That's quite a title, Molly. <laughs> so let's give you a little something. What we have here is a, an award made by Chamonix-based artist Andy Parkin. It's called Minneapolis made from recycled materials, a very beautiful uh, trophy. Congratulations, Molly, on all you've done to deserve this and know you've worked very hard. Do you want to tell us about some of the stuff you've been doing? Yeah, so um, I recently signed with Think Beyond Talent, who have encouraged me to, I guess, use my platform as a professional athlete to try and make a bit more of a difference. And just, yeah. Exciting thing to be involved in? Yeah, definitely. I think, well, I'm at a really exciting time in my life and I didn't think I'd be able to be a professional climber, so it's nice to be able to put into the things I care about outside of climbing as well whilst I can. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's good. it's good to have the ability to put something back into that world when we benefit so much from it. Yeah. Huh, congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm sure you deserved it a lot. So we'll be presenting all the other fantastic volunteers who won prizes with their similarly beautiful trophies at the annual gathering on the 31st of March in Boxing. Congratulations, everyone, your star. Right, Molly, you may be good at climbing, you're good at volunteering, but are you any good at math? Yeah, I think I'm pretty good at math now. Oh. Right, so here's a question for you. What's 2019 minus 75? Come on. Yep, you got it. 1944. Yeah. And what's so darn cool about 1944? Oh, I give up now, just tell me. Well, Molly, what's so darn cool is, of course, that 1944 is when the BMC was first formed, and that means we've been around for 74 years, you know. Yeah, and you look like it too. Oh, thanks, Molly. Well, I climb as well as I look, you know. And so to celebrate, we'll be having a great time all year long. The first event is a BMC Sheffield Adventure Film Festival taking place right here in Sheffield on the 22nd to 24th of March. This three-day program includes more than 100 films across five big screens. Huh? What do you think of that, huh? This year's BMC Shaft theme is adventure activism, so you'll also find a whole weekend of experiences that aim to inspire you to take the next step to a better future. I like the sound of that. As the presenting sponsor of the event, we will have some special sessions lined up for you. On Saturday evening, we'll be hosting the BMC TV Women and Adventure Film Session. Then join me for a 75th birthday bash on Saturday evening. It'll be a smash. Yeah, and all BMC members can get 15% off tickets either on your phone or in person. Ah, Molly, I don't know about you, but I need a break. How about we show an ad and head off for some climbing? Yeah, come on. Come on, let's go. So Molly, uh, I woke up this morning and my, uh, my agent said to me I'd be talking in my sleep. 
and I was talking about sort of gold medals and uh, thanking my sponsors in Tokyo. So, and I could only work it. And I kept thinking I was dreaming about big coloured holes. So I, I think it was my Olympic dreams are coming to life. And I realised that I'm about sort of climbing wise, very old school. So I thought I'd take advantage of you being here. And can you introduce me to the new school? I mean, I go, I, the sort of climbing I do won't get me a gold medal. And I want a gold medal. Yeah. Don't what we all, do? Mel? Yeah, we Don't all. We all? That's, we all, we're all humans. We all want gold medals. <laughs> what can I do here? We're in Unit E. And can I become a gold medalist here? This is yeah, where see a hand jump up there for a start. Important. Yeah. Um, hand jumps do crop up every now and again in comps, but yeah. you get quite, yeah, not my, not my thing. Um, but we, you get quite a lot of big blobby holes this. or volumes, like ones where you're not quite sure where the line good. is. Like, is it a hold or is it a volume? I feel like that sums up uh -huh. modern new school bouldering. Right, right. When I hear volume, I think of my, my hair, but it's, 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 yeah, you've got a lot of volume. Yeah, I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so what can I learn here, Molly? Can you teach me the way, the major yeah. way? Well, there's a few moves that come up quite a lot. This is like a classic palm move. Uh-huh. So you're gonna palm put all your weight onto your... Onto that one? Your left hand, yeah. And stand up through your right foot. Ah. Don't forget, you've got to start with points on the tape. Nice. No one. Now let's see your flexibility. Can you get your left foot to your <laughs> left hand? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I mean, I've got it in my head that I can't do these sort of problems. Ah, you won't do them with that attitude. <laughs> you need a bed. I hate to say it, but it's true. <laughs> okay, come on. Ah, oh, almost. You could just put your left foot up oh, onto this one that. first. <laughs> <laughs> right. Down, down, down. Yep. I'm trying. Making progress. Are you naturally good at these sort of problems or is it something new for you because of the Olympics? Uh, it's definitely more of a new thing for me. Here's a question for you. Who's decided that this is the way it should be? So I think maybe because it's more exciting to watch. The but who decides that? I don't know. I guess at the Olympics, you've got probably got more of a mainstream audience of uh -huh. more general sports fans and not I say normal people, like climbers aren't normal people, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. but I, I think it's just easier for them to understand or enjoy watching when there's jumps and exciting looking stuff. Right. And I always say to really understand climbing, you have to go and try it yourself. I don't think you, people understand how hard it is on your fingers and your body yeah. until you've tried to climb something. So I think it's just a bit easier for people to watch, okay. more and, user friendly. And with this, this is a big change in speed climbing. Does it feel it's taking you away from what you fell in love with as a sport originally? No, I think climbing still climbing, whether there's jumps and what not about, but there's always like a good mix. And I think they only try and have one or two jumps per round, so right. it's not too jumping. And you started, you started off as a lead climber, didn't you? I did, yeah. Uh -huh. Which is the least, I think it's the hardest one to cross over into the other disciplines for, I right. think. But I think it's making my climbing better in general. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. So the other, the other change has been the speed climbing, Molly. Yeah. How's that been, getting ready for that? Just tell me this, is it going to be the same route as it's always been in the Olympics? Yeah, yeah, the speed route won't change. So really? hopefully we'll see some fast times, yeah. And have you had it trained specifically for that? Yeah, I have only just started speed climbing actually. It's uh -huh. funny how I think most competition climbers never actually did the speed route in their life until they found out it was going to be part of the Olympics. Right. So yeah, it's new for quite a lot of people. Will that be your downfall if you're not very good at it or how is it going to work? Because it seems so niche. Yeah, I think, I think it's the interesting thing about climbing the Olympics is it's so hard to predict what's going to happen and who I think there's just so many different outcomes, uh -huh. really. Like, yeah, I think it's hard to tell. Exciting or terrifying for you personally? <laughs> Bit of both. Uh -huh. Stuff that's exciting can be terrifying it's too. It's going to be so much pressure, isn't it? Yeah. And so much... <laughs> A little bit. Do you not worry you'll damage yourself or...? Uh, I've already damaged myself and I don't want to right. go back there. So I think I'm quite sensible when it comes to knowing how much is enough and too much. What do you do in your rest days? 
I like to cook and bake and oh, try really? new things, yeah. Uh-huh. And try and learn language. What language? German. Oh, really? It's a good climbing language. Achtung! <laughs> <laughs> I must have more power. <laughs> These look a bit too easy for you now. Uh, well, now that I'm a new school climber, this sort of old school sort of marching around doesn't hold much challenge for me anymore. Uh, I'm definitely thinking about Tokyo. I think we should get you on a jump then. What do you think? Okay, okay. Molly, before you go, imagine winning a gold. Imagine, what does it feel like? Do you actually ever think about that? Genuinely? Olympic I think gold. For now, just imagining being at the Olympics is is a pretty nice thought, to be right. honest. Uh -huh. When but I was younger, I always dreamed about being there, so. Yeah. Why did you have sporting heroes who weren't climbers? Yeah, I really love Jess Ennis, now Ennis uh -huh. Hill. Right, <laughs> right. And Kelly Holmes, who I actually got to meet as well. So I that climbed was great. with her too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keen climber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh, amazing. So that's kind of in your blood. The, that yeah, Olympics. I grew up watching the Olympics and watching sport. I come from a family of like netball, football, cricket, other sports. So right. it's like you must have been so disappointed when you get into climbing. Yeah, my mum was like, "Why didn't you do athletics?" <laughs> and my dad, "Why not football?" But here I am. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they must be psyched about that. Now you're sort of. Are you definitely going to the Olympics, do you think? No, it's, it's not certain for anyone really. I no. mean, anything could happen in the next year, but there's a few different ways to qualify, so. Being? Um, first at World Championships this summer, mm. and then at the Toulouse event, and then if you're a continental champion. So, right. a few So not, few none routes. of those have happened yet? No, no, no one is qualified right, yet. Right, right. Yeah. God, so much stress, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and so much impact on your future life. Yeah, I mean, yeah, in the next few months, like a lot is decided for mm. climbing and the people who are or aren't going to the Olympics, right, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good, good. Well, I hope it all works out. Well, I really hope you get through to the Olympics and <laughs> Thank hope you. to see you doing well there. Fingers Amazing, crossed. Amazing, Molly. <laughs> right, what, what's the last jump? Where's my jump? Right, this green jump one. So you've got your two start points here right. and two here for your feet. Can you tell me where you're jumping to, first ah, of all? I'd like to know where you think I'm you're going. I'm going to jump for that one first. Mm. Okay, I'm going to jump for that hold which to be fair doesn't even look like a hold that I could hold if I could even reach it. No. No Molly one thing I'll say <laughs> I've not had to jump a lot in my climbing career because I'm a lot taller yeah. but still time to learn is always time to learn shall I give it a go? Uh, first what? I'm going to tell you where you're jumping okay, to. Okay sorry sorry. So this kind of move is quite popular now you're going to swing back yeah. and then hop stick a foot on here and catch the erect. And what with my left hand? What will I do with my left hand? Your left hand can come into here if you want. Right. But it's more about the right hand side. Right, and you're going to stand up out of your right foot as soon as you hit it. So left foot on here. Perfect. Oh, that was a good first go. <laughs> you know what you do? It's like, I always think of these things like learning to juggle. First of all, you have to learn to let go of the balls before you can think about catching them. So a little bit at a time. Sometimes when I try these moves, I like to pull into the position I'm going to finish in. Right. So you can kind of work backwards. So you want to end up here. Gotcha. So you need to try and get this position. And it helps to like, you can work out what angle so There's like a down perfect better. angle to stand on volumes with, so you want to work out how much your heel needs to be dropped. So do you think it's better on the edge or flat? I mean, that's still easier to be in the position Further there. Further out, yeah. Then I'll probably miss. <sighs> but I know me. <laughs> <laughs> Professional jumping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take it forward, Molly. I must say, Molly, thanks for opening the door to this sort of climbing. I never, I always shy away from it and you've sort of just opened the door slightly and shown what it's all about. So thanks for that and good luck with everything. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having a go. Ah. <laughs> back to the desk. Yeah, let's get back Come to on. work. And we're back. My Olympic dreams are alive. Tokyo 2020, here I come. Molly, will you be competing at the last sport of a BMC British Boardroom Championships this summer by any chance? Unfortunately now, I will not be there. Oh no, how come? 
I'll be in Switzerland competing at the IFSC Lead World Cup this year. So ah, I know, it's such a shame. But I'll be watching the live stream for sure. Ah, I love the live stream. Uh, so the big news is that the Cliff Bars, these guys, will help us produce the live stream and beam it out to the Beeb. So huge thanks to Cliff Bar for the support. We really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. And Molly, do you ever feel that pressure in front of uh, cameras, in front of crowds, when they're all shouting, Molly, come on, come on, come on? Um, How do you I handle think, that? I think I zone out. I think quite a few climbers just zone out when they're like, yeah, competing on the mats um, or tied in. Uh -huh. Just easy to block everything out and focus on what's in front of you. In your bubble. Yeah, uh -huh. in my bubble. Some voices come through, but. Example? Uh, Dad's voice. <laughs> Come down, Molly. Shout out yourself. to Dad. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't wait to watch that. Uh, that brings us to the end of the show, to the Climbing Works, Molly Thompson Smith, this uh, splendid flavoured event. So, Molly, I must say, it's been lovely having you here. If you can ever come back, we'd love to have you back. And thank you for my training session, uh, filling my pretty little head with those ideas. Uh, but yeah, been good. Well, thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed it. And there's only one thing left to do, and that is to say congratulations to Andy Ooh, for all the feedback. Uh, here you go, Andy, this montane pack is for you. And with that, it's time for us to finally say goodbye. See you next month, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Bye.